Do we want to try and catch one of these uh, rabbits? Let's let's try it. Okay, so quick bar, snare, and I'll put you right there, and then we'll see if we can't scare him into this. You little bastards! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I got way too loud there. Look what we caught. A rabbit. What is going on, Geeks Unite the Clans here? Back in your lives. Back in your lives with another brand new series. This is The Flame and the Flood. It is a river survival game. It reminds me a little bit of The Long Dark. A little bit of Don't Starve Shipwrecked. And it has a Tim Burton-esque look to it. It is a very cool game. They did a backer beta for uh, the original supporters of the uh, project on Kickstarter and then that game came out in early access so you guys may have seen this already but it has just come out as a full release on Steam and I am stoked to dive into this game. It is very cool. So what we're going to be doing is the campaign mode and we're going to be doing the easy version of the campaign mode. That gives us checkpoints which means permadeath is no longer a thing and you all know how well I do with permadeath. Not well. So, we're going to be doing the campaign, and I think uh, that we start off with almost what is a little cinematic, so let's dive into this thing. Okay, guys? Here we go. A new campaign. Traveler. New players. That's what I am. I'm a new player. Now, guys, I will say, I, um, when I started playing Don't Starve Shipwrecked, I was pretty bad. Oh, you might say abysmal. Um... And that's because I didn't practice. I wanted to go in fairly blind. That's a bad idea in a survival game. Yeah, very bad idea. So this time around, I have practiced. I've survived, what, maybe nine, ten days on the river. Made it miles and miles down there. I live streamed this earlier this week, and uh, I think I only made it three miles or so. So I'm getting better, and I'm looking forward to playing this with you guys by my side. This is our dog. This is Aesop. And one bonus is you get his inventory from whatever you had last time he died. I cannot remember what I left in his little backpack here, but we'll have some good stuff to start out. That radio, I think, is the point of this campaign mode. I think we're following that signal. And now we get to show off some of the mechanics. I did reset the tutorials, but I just tried recording and... Uh, here, let's see. Survival info. Okay. Okay. So the tutorials are still up. Scout basics. Open her backpack to access items and keep an eye on her health. Scout is us. Hunger. Uh, hydration. Temperature and sleep. And then we also have an inventory. Let me check mine. So, goals. Current afflictions and health overall. This is crafting. We'll get into that once we've collected some gear. Here is inventory. So, last time I played, I guess I left a boar hide, a rabbit hide, and a wolf pelt along with some water, a raft schematic, and some lumber. So that's it. That's one of the bonuses of this game. Last time you played, you leave yourself a little bit for next time. And then here is our um, gear. So right now we got basic boots and pants and a jacket. We will improve that stuff as we go. Let's see about collecting some... Yeah, there you go. So he'll find stuff for you. That's a sapling. Raft frame. So every time you discover the ingredients to things, you... Then learn how to craft them. Cattails are essential. That braided cord that's popping up on your screen there, that is the key to a lot of the early inventions, if I remember. You can get feathers. Yeah, get lost, your crow, from shooing the crows away. And then I think, yeah, that says danger, wolf ahead. I don't think there's one on this island, but water info. Yep, this is what happens when you're thirsty. I'll explain all this stuff. I've played enough that I'll be able to walk you guys through some of the basics. Here's your starting gear. We got a jar, water, rags, and a splint. That could have been better, but I'll take it. And this building always seems empty. Yep, every single time I've played, it has been empty. The splint is great. That'll uh, heal a broken leg. Quick use. Yes, so we have a quick use menu up here. Fill jar. Like if it were raining, I could fill a jar. Uh, splint if I were injured. These are just like quick, quick access things uh, for when you're in danger. Oh, and here's another cool thing. So this is a uh, mailbox, right? Does this tell me about mailboxes? No. Uh, so they're caches, and what happens is you get a quest from one of them. This one is basic tools, which I think means make a stone knife and a stone hammer, and then the next time you find one of these boxes, you get a reward and a new quest. Camp Pinewood, and then 
if you don't know anything about this game, you're about to see what makes it really unique. This isn't just the game. You also have to traverse a mighty river, and it's clearly stormy as hell. The game has an amazing soundtrack. Chuck Reagan is the artist who did most of it, if not all of it, and I really like it. So off we go, and we raft. We raft. So, steer with your mouse button, paddle hard with spacebar. I steer with, oh, I st I've been steering with WASD. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Yes, I shouldn't do that. This is better. There you go. And you can boost. There. This is much better. Much better. Oh, I've learned a, just a better way to steer. How wonderful this is. And yes, you just sail this river and you get days like this where it's so gorgeous. But then you come up to spots like this where it's absolutely wrecked. There's houses on stilts just getting washed away in the river. Uh, and you'll see a new bar, the yellow one at the bottom of my face there. That is the condition of my raft. And uh, top right, you've got our distance traveled and our time survived. You've got a uh, thermometer, it's a warm day. And uh, you have a clock basically telling you how deep into the day we are. Just past sunrise and thank God a little calm area and you'll get to see some of this navigation. Region 1 of 10 and this is how the checkpoints work. Next time we die, if we die, we are back here. Started back at this uh, little spot. I don't know what it's called. Did it tell me the name of the place? I don't think so. There you go. Let's push ourselves along. Okay, yes, yeah, see this little forest symbol up here? That is the first thing we can set a course to. Set a, oh, or a farm to the left. No, we're going right. We're gonna go forest and then campgrounds, and I don't think we're making it to that farm, but we'll see. Okay, play it cool. UTC, play it cool. Yes, come in hot. Yeah, there you go. Oh, we're not gonna make that campground now, are we? Okay, dock it. Cool, and now we get to explore Cal's Domain. It's wilderness, so it's light on supplies. Now, a key that I have been taught mainly... Oh, music gets a lot quieter when you're in here. Okay, cool. Uh, mainly by my buddy Chuck, who has played this game. You guys know Atypical Chuck if you've been watching my channel. We've collaborated in the past. Um, I'm going to make this braided cord. I'm going to make a bunch of it, and we'll go from there. Chuck's big tip was keep your raft in good condition and use the stash on it. Like, I don't have a plan for boar hide yet. So it goes. The boar, uh, go to the raft. Go to the raft. Go to the raft. Go to the, and just keep it all there. That way you can collect as much stuff as possible. Yes, perfect. See, this is how you do it. Okay, let's go. Let's go explore. And uh, you guys get to see your second... Uh, what are you barking at already? Is there a wolf here? There better not be a damn wolf here. Yes, there are wolves, there are wild hogs, which are terrifying. And um, FYI, the school bus is one of the spots you can sleep. You can also sleep in churches, um, at fires. And there's obviously cool crates here. I don't think we need to sleep yet. We'll take the flint and rags. Flint is key. We need a stone knife. So one more flint. I think that'll do it for me, right? Stone hammer. Cool. Let's see if I can craft these things. Oh, stitching kit. This is great. We're going to be able to actually use some of that boar, these hides, I think, once we're back at the dock. Um, oh, there's rabbits here. I need some saplings. I need to go collect some saplings. We'll, ca we'll make a snare. We'll kill or catch a rabbit. This is going to be so much fun. I'm really excited to play this game with you guys to explore. The, the many parts, the many stages and levels to uh, this river. All right, let's go see if I can't find a couple saplings and we'll get on the hunt for uh, making ourselves a snare. It'll be some good cooking, some rabbit. Good, this is the backwoods. This is the American, like you're probably on the mighty Mississippi. And so the people you meet, um, I don't know if hillbilly is the right way to describe them. Feral, maybe, is better. <laughs> the... Uh, I think there hasn't been society or civilization in a very long time, and the people who live in this part of the world, man, they don't fare well in uh, the molasses floods vision of the future, I tell you that. Okay, box trap and a snare. The box trap 
live traps animals, which is kind of cool. That uses four saplings. That one only uses two. Do we want to live trap it? No. I don't think we want to live trap it. We're making a snare, and then we're going to be on the hunt for what we need for the spear trap, too. I'll tell you that. Because that spear trap is the key to killing anything bigger than these rabbits. So another sapling and more cord. Cool. Alright. Uh, let's go see about setting up that snare. Do we want to try and catch one of these uh, rabbits? Let's, let's try it. Okay, so. Quick bar. Snare. And I'll put you right there. And then we'll see if we can't scare him into this. Because I've already explored this island, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh! You little bastards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, f <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I got way too loud there. Look what we caught. A rabbit. Sick. Sick nasty. There's no fire that I saw on this island, so we're not going to stay here. We're not going to set up camp, even though it's nightfall. I think we're going to try and make it one more step. And let me see what I can't... Oh, look at all the cool stuff we can make now. Gloves and a hat. Let's, uh, let's do it. A hat. And gloves. I can't. Yeah, rabbit pelt gloves. Let's do it. We'll skin another rabbit. And then we'll hop over to our, our outfitter thing here. We'll put on these gloves. We'll put on our cool boar... Is it a boar skin cap? I think it was. I really should have saved that boar skin. You need it to make the next level a knife. Whatever. We'll kill the next boar we meet. Speaking of, can I make a... Uh, get all this crap off my screen. What do I need to make my spear trap? Another sapling. And three braided cord. Okay. Cool. Well, we'll, we'll set out in search of that. And a nice warm place to spend the night. Guys, this seems like as good a time as any. Why don't I take a quick break and I will bring you guys back to me in just a second. I am so gonna love playing this game, guys. I missed a couple of the nearby spots, but just listening to this music and drifting down this river is so relaxing. I can see myself losing hours and hours to the flame and the flood. When I played the Endless Survival, yes, it was hardcore survival, but I kind of like this game being a little bit easier. I'm gonna aim for that fishery. I think it's a bait shop, maybe. And we're gonna just drift down this river. It's absolutely the most pleasurable experience to play this when it's calm and you've got this gorgeous full moon and here we go a live bait shop let's check it out and i see a church and a campground and another forest ahead i'm not sure how many of those we'll be able to hit by the end of this episode but we're at evans pruitt hammock a bait shack with fishing line hooks and shelter i've never seen a wolf or a boar at one of these spots but you'll always find like a good collection of things cattails or these dandelions which you can eat or make tea from and um, sometimes corn although we ain't got any corn here and then up here there's always a couple little good stashes some fishing line which is cool you can combine that with a hook make your own fishing kit oh all line and we open this place up we can loot it and we can stay the night which you know what to be honest we kind of need to do so let's sleep. We'll sleep off a couple of hours and we'll be right back on the on the river in the morning. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. Thank you guys for coming along for this ride. Yeah, coffee fuels a lot of my Let's Plays. New discovery. Dandelion tea. Can I make anything newer or cooler while I'm down here? Nothing crazy cool. Um, get the inventory a little bit sorted out. I probably should have done that without bringing you guys in. Why don't we use this? We'll fill it up. I think we'll get polluted water, but that'll give me an opportunity to move to the bag, and we'll we'll go over to our crafting here, and we will make clean water by using that filter. And you can use the filter three times. We're just about ready. Yeah, we're more than ready to drink some water. So let's do that. We'll see about cooking up or uh, turning that meat into jerky once we find some basic resources here and i'm going to use that uh, water filter yet again i think that's a good idea and i'm going to hold off on making gloves and a hat we've got both those things uh we'll, we'll kind of collect a little more rabbit pelt and we'll be able to make a bigger piece of equipment 
I still need to make that stone hammer. We'll worry about that next time. Let's hop on the boat and we'll see about hitting one of these spots. There was wilderness, campsite, and what, a farm? There were some good spots. I'm gonna try and go left. Uh, I'm gonna try and go left. Nope, I'm not going left, I'm going right, okay. Let's, we can still make it over to that forest. Yes, we can. The campground might be un, unachievable after that. Get over, get over, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get docked, pretty sweet. Discardia Glen, light on supplies, it is wilderness. And I mean, how close are we to that? Did I make that spear trap yet? I know I still need things, but. Uh, spear, spear, spear. Braided cord, okay, so cattails, cattails is key. Oh, good, the storm blowing in, that's always the worst. Um, cattails are the goal. We look like we should have some good luck here if there's no wolves or hogs on this island. When when you're coming to an island like this in the dark, pay attention to your dog, because he'll let you know if there's danger nearby. Here you go, new task, weaponsmith. That probably means I've never made a weapon. What the hell does that mean? Afflictions, goals. Weaponsmith, craft a bow. Oh, cool. Saplings and cattails. Maybe that means those things will be on this island. We found a little aloe. But so far, that's literally it. Sumac, that's poison. That's a bad thing. These are also poison. I think the devil's trumpet. Tainted meat. Yep, we can do... Oh! Rain is coming. As rain gets closer, seek shelter and wait for it to pass. If you get wet, use shelter or kindle a fire to dry off. I don't know if we have any of those things here. I'm gonna collect... Oh! Oh no. We might be in trouble here, guys. Might be in some early trouble. Uh, okay, let's collect this yucca. That's a great source of food. And we'll see. See, maybe there is some shelter here. Maybe there is a bus or a, a place to hide. A place to set up a little dandelion. God damn it. Give me, give me what I need. I don't want dandelions. It's too wet and too dark. Freaking crow, I'm not looking for you. There's a water pump here. Tell me. Tell me you got a bus or a, or a... Nothing. It's the wilderness. Of course not. Can I make a fire? That's my next question. Let's have a look, because we're getting real wet real fast. Fire is... Old lumber, dry tinder, and flint. Shoot. Nothing dry about us right now. We're going to start losing... Uh... Oh, give me these saplings. Yep. Okay. Uh, I really don't want to stick around here too long. I mean, we're, there's no... Where's the dog? I hope he's not lost. There he is. Okay, cool. We're going to head back, head back onto the ocean here. Ocean. River. We're going to head back on the river, and we're going to see if we can't get to that campground. The rain has clearly stopped, which is just in the nick of time. The church is a good place to go, right? Yes, we'll get some shelter at the church. And this music is just about perfect for going to a church. It's a church called Warrior's Den. How good is this? How much time could you lose playing this game? More saplings. I need those cattails and I need them now. I can't even make another snare without cattails. Knit hat, cool. Oh, we got a hog. We got a boar. Sleep? I... T okay. Okay, we've been hit. We've been lacerated. Uh, yeah, yeah. I need cattails before I can mess with a boar. I'll run away. I'll escape him. I'll escape the beast. Oh, God. Okay, we've... He's cut us open. We're bleeding. We're in rough shape. What the hell can I do about it? A stitching kit. Cure. Cure it. In a split second. I'll sew myself back up. Okay, we're still wet. And I really want to get into that church and search around here. Oh, let's see. Okay, let's wander the rest of the uh, this little island. We'll see if we can't track down a cattail. Because if I can track down a cattail, I can make a spear trap. And we can just, we can obliterate a boar. We can teach a boar the lesson of his lifetime. And that, wouldn't that be a great way to end this episode? Alright guys, we are fleeing. I managed to look at the gear that was here, but we definitely didn't manage to find what we needed to kill this boar 
or to capture ourselves some food and we are hungry. We are really freaking hungry. I don't know what to do here, guys. I think I have to take a break and end episode one while things are bad. The sun is setting and we are starving. And I will be back with episode two in just a couple of days.